Hello there folks! <laughs> I decided to do something a little bit different for my intro and uh, I quite enjoyed that. Anyways, hello my crafty crew, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a flip through of my travel journal from the Isle of Wight. There are a few pages right towards the end. Ew, that's some modelling paste. Anyways, there's some pages right towards the end that I haven't finished my journaling but you guys will get the general gist of this. Now if you haven't been following my travel journal series I've put all of these into a playlist so definitely go and check that out right from the beginning and then you'll at least be able to see how the majority of these pages have been completed. The only thing I would say is quite a lot of these extra pages have been kind of finished on my Instagram so if you'd like to see them and you wouldn't want to miss out on any kind of creative layouts that I do because I don't always film them then definitely go and check out my Instagram which is always linked in the description box below but without further ado let's get into the video now for my travel journal I have just used a simple sketchbook this is one oh I've had this for donkey's years I'm not really too sure whether it's got a name Mm, probably not, I've probably covered it, no. So it doesn't have a name but obviously it was just a generic sketchbook that I have managed to find in my local kind of art DIY store so that would have been a kind of hobby craft for me. Now it's really really chunky because I've used quite a lot of bits and pieces in here but like I said there's still a few pages that I need to, to complete and they're a little bit more boring so I'm going to be doing them obviously off camera but if I finish them before this video goes live then obviously I will have some photos at the end. But basically for you guys to do your own travel journal you don't have to go with something really really specific. I've like I said just used a generic little sketchbook. Obviously you can do something which is more in a project life style which is what I did my honeymoon album in. Again there's a playlist for this if you'd like to see that. Or you can do it in any kind of generic little notebook so there's a notebook here you can obviously use this as a guide this has got different colors which is pretty cool as little inserts you could do something else on that but overall the overall design and how you document your travel or your journey to somewhere or whatever you're documenting can be however you like so it's just to basically let you guys know that you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive items just to basically write down your memories now this is the first page so I'm gonna zoom you in but I'm gonna kind of flip through this because I think this video is going to be quite long so apologies to start off with but every now and again I will stop on specific pages and basically tell you how it's done. So this is my title page now all I've done for here is my textures I've added lots of washi tape lots and lots of tissue papers and matte papers and all that sort of thing literally covered it in paint and I've started to emboss the Isle of Wight. A few little kind of words here and there and obviously some Tim Holtz tiny word stickers there. This is a um, My Mind's Eye I think or a Mambi if that's how it's called I don't know but it's one of their chipboard stickers so if I can find the collection where this little kind of goodie came from then I'll link it down below. Now this is just a, an ordinary pen sketch from me. This space I need to do some journaling but this is obviously whilst we were out on sea and I just ended up drawing this out very very roughly and then I ended up colouring it in with my watercolours. From here on I'm waiting for my prints so this is like a little sketch that I did whilst I was actually on the boat and then obviously I've got my writing around. The reason why I've got some arrows pointing is because I know exactly what photos I'm printing um, I'm just waiting for some printer paper basically but that's kind of the same for all of through here this is another page where I absolutely adore this look at my little my little luggage oh I love how that turned out but this is just an ordinary pen sketch and then obviously I ended up using the watercolours over the top but oh I love this little page. This is again where I'm going to add some photos and some more writing. It's basically just to document the travel itself. 
Now I took a whole load of items away with me and I actually sketched whilst I was away and then converted it into a proper sketchbook. So this is just a page where I'm going to outline all the bits and pieces that I used and the items that I took away with me. So that's something if you would like to document your adventure, it's something that most people kind of leave out and I quite like to leave that in. So when I go back I can say oh I remember what glue I used or what pen worked well and all those sorts of things. Um, so then for my next travel I know what items I can take again. Again these are just waiting for some photos so I'll skip past them and then this was my little calendar simply drawn out with a few little kind of colouring in drawings. I've still got my title to do um, but I'm just waiting waiting to do that one but this was just a overview of every day what we were going to be doing. Now this page is Eriton Barnes. I have a tutorial of this one so I wanted to add different textures into the layout and this is a kind of like a stained glass because they do quite a lot of glass blowing. It's a art and craft area so I wanted to document that really really well. Again this overall layout I've tried to break bits and pieces up with series of ephemera or photos and obviously my journaling and then every now and again I have got some pieces of artwork which take up a full page which is really really nice and that's how I've thoroughly enjoyed breaking this particular side up and this particular sketchbook so obviously I've kept with the photos and then obviously my little marine man in this one I've got quite a lot of flips because I'm quite tactile so I quite like to have a lot of flips in the layout. Some of the pages, because these pages are quite thin, I've had to reinforce them with some washi tape so that's something you might have to do in the future. That's just something to be mindful of because as you can see here on some of the pages I've had quite a lot of bleed through. That doesn't necessarily bother me but if it did bother you I would just reinforce that again with some pretty washi tape. Here I'm going to be doing a kind of quote but um, I just haven't got round to fill in that little bit in. Oh, have I missed a page? Ta da! <laughs> This was me making marble paper. I still haven't really fell in love with this page, but one of my subscribers, Helen, turned around and said maybe to add a photo of me and my mum. So I'm definitely going to do that to this page, but I'm lacking on printer paper. <laughs> but we ended up going shopping, so I was able to use a few more of the kind of bows and swimsuits that I'd never normally be able to wear and use. Again, quite a lot of flips, my flamingo. But yes, quite a lot of flips using some of the packaging that obviously, you know, the leaflets that we get every now and again. And I love how I've been able to kind of print some really nice big portraits and some big photos on this particular sketchbook, which has been really, really nice. And it kind of breaks up the page. This was a little activity book that the kids ended up doing whilst we were away. I mean, I don't have any kids and it was just me and my mum. But as a 20-something year old, I decided that I wanted to participate as well. And if you got them all, you got a free suite. So there was a bonus in that. I particularly like this one because I managed to get a snapshot of their resident lion kind of yawning, which I really, really liked. This page I really, really found interesting. This was a quote that I managed to get off of Pinterest. So it says, feelings are much like waves. You can't stop them from coming, but you can choose which ones you surf, which I think is really, really lovely. And this is just one of my page protectors from my six by eight pack. And these are some seaweed and some iron that I ended up being able to salvage from the shore whilst we were there and I thought what better way to kind of document that and keep that in there and I've just added like a mottled watercolour effect behind so it resembles the sea and I really really like that so if you ever take any like pebbles or shells or I don't know some driftwood or anything it could be absolutely anything you know if you went to the casinos and you managed to take some of the chips home or whatever I don't know but maybe consider just adding some pockets in like this so you're able to 
to keep them in the journal. This is waiting for my title, but this is just some modelling paste and then some watercolour. That's in a tutorial. Again, any kind of tickets and bits and pieces I've been able to keep. This is another little fold out of the map. This is one of the flowers that I ended up taking and I captured and it's just literally smother it in PVA glue. Some rubbings. I love this little part. So cute. And again, this is a real leaf and that's the print. So this is just, again, smothered in PVA glue and I backed it onto some kind of um, writing paper. Just something really, really relatively thin only because I didn't want it to soak my actual paper so this has kind of acted as a barrier basically but I really really like the flips that I've got going on and the interaction between the pages I find it really really satisfying to flip through and see that there's so many different bits and pieces and everything's ooh, you know some bits are hidden away some and you know I've been able to expose some bits but again just keeping everything very tactile which I really really like now towards the end I started to use quite a few more bits of washi tapes which you can see kind of here again I really like the big photos and then a band of writing I really really like that but throughout the whole layout I tried to add as many different versions as possible so some project life cards or some ephemera and then splitting my kind of leaflets and my photos to obviously having big photos and some writing so this is us on the steam trains and again another flip here because I really liked the map so I wanted to showcase all the information still and I just turned that into a little flip. Again another flip with all of the kind of ephemera from the actual place itself so you don't always, although this one is stuck to the paper, some of them like the other one, where was it? Oh, when you need one. So like this, I just kind of stick it in the middle and then I don't have to waste a full page. This was our trip to ride and we went to one of the bus museums which was so cool. If you go to the Isle of Wight, the bus museum is awesome. And if you ever go to the Isle of Wight, I will link in the description box all the places I went to and my kind of favourite places. So definitely check that out if you're thinking about going. Again, another little flip out, and then kind of from here onwards, I'm waiting and literally doing some writing. So there's not too much, some of them, <laughs> and it just kind of goes on. Here, I'm going to be doing a dinosaur, so I'm going to have to paint that. But it was only a few notes every now and again when I could find the space and when I knew what I wanted to say. But this is Waltz in Waters, another favourite of mine. Every time we go, we go and see it. And then finally, it was us going home. And then on here, I've got a little envelope that my mum was given because we ended up seeing the Country Superstars, which was a theatre show. And I've just got all the kind of theatre tickets and the raffle tickets that we purchased on the night. So... I've just got them as a little, little pop out. And that guys is my journal. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you're thinking about going to the Isle of Wight, definitely check out all the places in the description box below. We go quite often and it's a very special place to me because that's where I got engaged. So, ah, Jamie's just over there, bless him. But yeah, 
basically it, the Isle of Wight will always be a special place for me so I'm really really pleased that I managed to document my travel with my mum in this little book and I'm going to be placing this on my like coffee table so every now and again obviously when people come around they've got something to flip through but guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did and you liked it please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the description box below what are your favourite places to travel to and what's been your favourite holiday because I'd definitely like to know. But guys, I will see you all again very soon. Take care, God bless and I will see you later. Bye! Whoop.